Nuk Nich. Uh, we got a blurb here about the uh, Klingon keyboard holder. <laughs> I don't know how they got away with calling it that, but here it is. This is a product that gets the keyboard off the desk or else it gets the hose again or something along those lines. Man, it's apparently the efficient way to manage your workspace. Saves space, time, and money. Yeah. So I've got an appropriate display here to try this out on, as well as the IBM Model M keyboard. I'm just testing all this crap out, had it out. And I was like, hey, this thing, digging all this out of storage, well, let's just test it all together. Uh, the monitor still works. I thought it needed new caps. I think it still does. It kind of is, I don't know, it's a little iffy sometimes, and definitely some potentiometer weirdness. I mean, like if you bump it a certain way, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's iffy, but it should work. But let's just take a look at this. I mean, is this a good idea? Is this a terrible idea? Ah, I don't know. I'm not like banking on any kapla here, but perhaps it will be successful. <laughs> it depends on if the adhesive holds up. The idea itself seems like straightforward enough. Just two pieces of plastic that glues to the side of your monitor and holds the keyboard up above. However, I just don't see that as very ergonomically um, anything good. Anyway, it's a Canadian product. It apparently cost seven fifty CAD back in a day. I don't know when this exa uh, exactly was made. This is it. This is all that's in here, or at least in this package. These two moose antlery looking things with some adhesive. And that's it. It's just supposed to <laughs> make it look rather festive. Like I said, moose antlers, reindeer antlers. I'm going with moose because Canada. And uh, also, this is a donation from some years back. Uh, greetings from Canada's capital. We hope you and your audience get a kick out of the Bellevue, Ontario made Klingon keyboard holder. It received both US and Canadian patents, that it did, both of which have expired. This means you can launch your own brand of LGR PC keyboard holders. I don't know if that's how that works, but hey, if anybody wants to 3D print these, <laughs> guess you could. Uh, and they did include some tasty treats. I ate them about five years ago. Uh, thank you, Kate and Tony. And um, let's just apply this nonsense here you can see some of the um yeah some of the, some of the patent information right there uh it's it's definitely a thing i haven't looked any of this up that's just you know how it goes for this blurbs channel i don't look things up i pretty much just try them out see what the heck's going on it's very cheap feeling um you can feel the molding of the the injection it feels terrible and considering these model m's way this much <laughs> i'm very skeptical of that adhesive but we're gonna try it anyway and if not i've got some other uh, more modern things that are supposed to hold up to 16 pounds but i mean this is a lot of adhesive i have no doubt that it would have worked back in the day it just depends on if it still yeah it just depends on if that adhesive still holds up uh i better wipe that real quick Nice and alcohol smelling in here now, not blood wine, but it will work. Actually, is clean on blood wine even alcoholic or is it just blood? I don't know what it is. Yeah, so just above the top of the monitor. <laughs> I love these kind of goofy plastic stick on monitor gadgets. All right, so I wanna get this level too, is the thing. This is kinda, of... all right, like right here. It just seems so impractically practical. You know, like putting things up here is a... I get the idea and I get the situations where this would make sense, but there are better solutions than this. Whatever, man. For like a 750? Please hold up. All right, well, there we go. We've got our Klingon solution stuck right on there. That is certainly a sight to behold. Ah, uh, well, idea being that we can just like not have any space in front of the monitor. Again, this seems like a bad idea, but that's, that's sort of the thing. Gets the keyboard off the desk means it's gonna fall straight onto the floor if it falls. Well, I don't know, it might fall backward. Tilt this down just a tad. 
check it out. The best in what I assume is late 80s Canadian plastic engineering. Oh, that's lovely. So yeah, my, my, my question is pushing on it. Because, you know, it takes a bit of effort to push on these keys to get them to go down on a Model M because of the buckling springs and all that. So that means you're constantly sort of pushing backwards. But, you know, you've got all that going on in terms of the plastic. It's just the adhesive I'm curious about here. All right, so it's 1989 or whatever. Uh, I need to, uh, to type a document. I mean, it's not that bad. Um, obviously not any kind of ergonomic or comfortable. This is <laughs> it's just not how you want to use a computer. But if this was just a terminal that you were entering a bit of information in every so often or something, you know, checking people into a hotel or looking up the occasional part number or entering data here and there, I could see that making sense. Kind of. Again, just uh, providing that the adhesive holds up. I mean, it's it's holding up. I am pushing back on that. I would have expected that to to come off of there. Wow. All right. Well, let's uh, let's try a game. I really should be playing a game with Klingons in it, but I don't have any installed on here, so can play some Duke Nukem with the Klingon. All right. So uh, yeah, I have this set to mouse and keyboard, so. <laughs> I've certainly played on significantly worse on this channel and on LGR. <laughs> All right, let's say I want a cheat code. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Immediate, uh, you know, shoulder, upper arm, like just. It's like if you've ever uh, puppeted anything for a, a, an extended period of time or any period of time until you get used to it. I haven't been a puppeteer in years, but when I did do that, man, you'd be holding up your arm like this for an hour or so at a time for different shows. So like, yeah, if you were used to that, this wouldn't be bad at all. <laughs> but I am no longer used to that. So this is already feeling like mm, little, a little bit of burn. Not bad. All right. I am mostly surprised about the uh, the adhesive. So whatever they used, this uh, old probably 3M. I don't know. That's kind of what that looks like. Again, I really don't know when this was made. There are no dates anywhere on there, but I'm assuming late 80s. Practicality of this, usefulness of it is still in question. But dude, I, I feel very confident at the moment for how well it is holding up yeah, I mean, you know, it's almost down more to the, the monitor holding in place because these things slide around quite a bit. At least it does now with the uh, the feet not being how they used to. So, you know what? Now I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to bring this out, but, uh, you know, say if you have a, a battleship or a battle cruiser keyboard, Model M beefy terminal thing. It did mention terminals. This is much heavier. Um, it's only USB, so it's not going to work on this machine, but there you go. Yeah, I just have this converted over from that terminal adapter to a USB. So, yeah, I wish I could use it on here. But anyway, again, I'm feeling oddly confident with this. Not what I expected at all. All right. Well, that is it for the, uh, the Klingon keyboard holder from Canada. Good job to Quint Quinty Computer Accessories Limited in Belleville, Ontario. Thanks for watching this blurb.